This is Non-Fungible Talkin'. We cover drops, pack breaks, and fun stuff in the world of NFTs. Hey collectors, time for another video. In this one we're going to go through how to do DC Overdrive. So this is a burning facility that we can transform one NFT into another. Right now there is two separate NFTs that we need to burn and then we'll get a new one from that. This will be used for comics and other collectibles on the candy.com website. So I've just gone to overdrive up the top here and we'll scroll down to view challenges. There's one challenge available at this time which is the Legacy Cal Safe Mode Edition. So this will allow us to transform the Legacy Cal into a different version. So we'll view the details of that. Okay, you can see here I'm eligible for this challenge. Right, so we'll go, let's get burning. I'll scroll down, I'll select a cow that I wish to burn. Now, each of these have different edition numbers and I was lucky enough to get number 71 there, so I won't burn that one. I'll go with the highest number I have. And we'll go with the overdrive patch that we need to burn as well. Uh, and I'll go with the highest edition of that as well. So with these, the editions of the patch and the cowl are different. They're random, so we'll select those two and then we go next. And we'll go confirm and burn. Last chance, so after you do this, you can't go back. We'll go yes, let it burn. Okay, we get a little animation there which includes a fandom drive, which will be part of future crafting possibilities, I'd say. We've also got a cowl in there, which is a bit of an Easter egg. So we'll go back to challenges, and we should be able to see in my collection a new collectible. Right, we don't see it there yet, so I might refresh. It's still not shown. And I've just worked out that the one I've dropped actually won't happen until after this crafting period is closed. Hopefully in the future they'll do it on the spot, but yeah, that's how that works for now. So I've got to wait until I can see my collectible, but I'll jump over and we'll have a look at what that will look like once I've received it. So here is what it will look like after I've received it. So it's like a stripped down version of the Legacy Cow 1.1. So to be clear too, this was the 1.1 version and the first challenge. If you want to understand more about the Legacy Cal and how it all works, definitely check out their Medium article. And generally over on Twitter, there's a lot of information as well. This particular collectible aren't one of one, the same as the cows are, but it will allow you to vote for comics and do other things going forward. So it's like the evil version of what the cows were being hero version. So. The Legacy Cow is the super villain, whereas Bat Cows are the kind of hero character. Anyway, that's all for this video. I know I haven't been making that many videos lately. I just haven't had that much to talk about. If you do have specific things that you think I might know about and you would like to see a video on, certainly drop them in the comments below, but we'll leave that there for now. Thanks for watching.